Hey everyone, there's a lot of announcements around management software from VMware this week, and I'm here with Mark, and Mark is a, a director of product marketing. So you can probably tell us a little bit more about what VMware's vision is behind some of the acquisitions we did, what's our vision going forward, what do we want our customers to benefit from? Absolutely, Jeremy. Um, so we're all about, uh, our vision, our mission's all about simplifying automating management, right? So if you take a look at our various uh, uh, acquisitions, it's really been towards that end goal, simplifying automating management as much as possible. Now when you look at our portfolio, we break it down into, into three key areas or pillars around cloud automation. So that's uh, the area around the automated delivery of services and their lifecycle management, self-service. Uh, product there is a vCloud automation center, which you may have heard about. Second pillar is around operations management, so that's our flagship product, the vCenter Operations Management Suite, as well as a, a recent product we came out with, our Log Insight. And then the third area is around the cloud business, so running the business of IT in the, in the cloud era. And so we have a suite there called the IT Business Management Suite. Exactly, well that sounds very good, and we've just done interviews with many of the products that you mentioned, okay. so for the viewers at home, if you want some more information about these products and see live demos, just watch the other videos and you can get more insight into that. Um, the vision behind all these separate products, they integrate very well, they also uh, integrate with products that are non-VMware. Is that a new focus for VMware to uh, also integrate with products that are not just part of the VMware suite? Can you talk about that? Absolutely, it's a great question. So if you think about it, VMware has always been known as an infrastructure company and a vSphere based company, right? So infrastructure, vSphere. It's completely changed. You know, people like, talk to customers, they still have that kind of, uh, that thinking about, uh, or that, that uh, idea of VMware as really being focused on infrastructure and being really focused on just vSphere environments. Exactly. I often get the question, VMware is just a hypervisor, but we're much, much more than that. No, absolutely right. So, what, where have we extended beyond that? Because that's st still critically important, right? The infrastructure, very much focused on that. We're a platform company, that's where our strength comes from, but we've extended beyond that. Extended beyond that, not just in terms of building on that platform with management, our business unit, but also extending beyond that horizontally, if you think about it, away from just our platform, right? but to also bring in other technologies. Now, the reason being is that our customers, we understand, especially enterprise customers, have heterogeneous environments. They have a lot of investments and a lot of systems out there, and they need to make it work when they bring our solutions in, into that environment, right? So that's what we're doing. We're helping our customers with our management solutions that are heterogeneous or heterogeneous, depending on how you want to pronounce that word. <laughs> but really helping our customers leverage their investments in other systems, whether it be ticketing systems or uh, you know, IP address management management systems, or whatever it may be, monitoring systems, we're able to tie in and feed through our APIs, through our adapters, whatever it is, to really give customers the benefit of, of, of those different systems, even as we add value to uh, their virtualized environment, their vSphere investment. So what the way I like to think about it is that we, with our management solutions, we optimize for vSphere, because it's still the best environment for customers to put their, their workloads, their applications, and encourage them to move beyond 70, 80, 90% virtualized but also to say that we extended that heterogeneous environment. We optimize for vSphere, we design for heterogeneity. Exactly, so customers have ultimate flexibility. They can choose the solution they want in each position, and we'll just make sure that they can use it and manage it through a single pane of glass. Um, what's the future vision that you have? Is there any more um, combining of products or a better integration? What do you think currently is still missing at VMware? Where do you want to take it? We're always driving forward, right? I mean, IT is always changing. It's a, it's a really interesting, complicated world out there, and it's moving lightning fast, right? And we want to be ahead of that, of that curve. But in order to, to, to have a sense, a strategy behind where we want to go as a, co a company and want to, where we want to go with our customers, and in fact, where our customers are also taking us, because some of them are moving very, very quickly indeed as well, and it's a, it's a great dialogue with, with our customers in terms of where they want to go and how we want to help them get there. But again, you need some sort of end goal, some sort of vision, right? So if our mission is to, to automate and simplify management, the end goal really is around the CIO, the IT organization being what we call a broker of IT services, right? This broker concept. So what, what does that mean? That means you move away from the, the previous years where everything would be built internally, so the internal build and delivery, a very kind of build to order, so customers would come in and say, I want this application, and you say, okay, let me get the infrastructure, let me get the application, let me build that out for you, and it could take weeks, years, months, whatever it might be. Uh, I remember in previous companies, you know, global CRM systems taking 18 months to get, in, you know, get into production and still not working. 
What we want to do is help the CIO, the IT organization, become this broker of IT. That's the vision, right? And what does that actually mean? It means that we give them the ability to source services wherever it makes sense to source them, right? They can build them internally, they can source them through an outsourcer, they can go to the cloud, to a public cloud service provider, get those different services, and then manifest them up, make them available through a self-service portal, a catalog of services, but give the lines of business, give the end users the ability to choose which services they want based on a lot of criteria where they have an understanding of the, the, the cost, the risk, the compliance profile, the health of the environments into which they want to provision. Really move towards this vision of the CIO as a service broker uh, in the context of IT as a service. That's the vision, that's where we're driving to. We've got a large part of the portfolio there. We're not done yet. Uh, we're building internally. We'll be acquiring organic, uh, you know, non-organically through acquisitions. But we're moving very, very quickly. And, and, and VMware recognizes that this is the future of IT, and there's a lot of support at VMware for the management, uh, uh, the management business unit here. Absolutely, perfect. Well, I think that resonates very well with what I've been hearing here so far at VMworld. So for our customers, if you want more information, look at all the other videos that we shot today about the management suite, and make sure that you start working towards your way on a software-defined data center.